continuing on how to handle deadlocks the second approach to handling deadlocks by making sure that it does not happen is called deadlock avoidance what's the main difference between deadlock prevention and uh, deadlock avoidance uh, in deadlock avoidance you focus basically on preventing the circular weight from happening the circular weight condition from happening and to do that you need to have uh, additional or initial information about the resource requirements of the processes and one of the simplest way is to declare the a process is for a process to declare the maximum number of resources of each type that it may need and uh, we're going to focus on how to do uh, deadlock avoidance but before that uh, we need to define uh, some terms like the resource allocation state uh, so it's a state meaning uh, you have a system uh, going back to our model you have a system and in the system you have processes you have resources process requesting resources so the resource allocation state basically describes the relationship between the or among the processes and the resources so uh, in the context of the lack avoidance uh, it is defined by the number of available and allocated resources and the maximum demands of the processes so the for for the lack avoidance to work this resource allocation state must be examined before allowing or before uh, allocating resources to processes so in uh, describing the resource allocation state we define what we call a safe state when we say a safe state uh, it is characterized by a sequence the existence of a sequence so what uh, in the lack avoidance uh, you have to examine that before you allocate the resource the state of the system based on the resource allocation state is in a safe state how do we formally define a safe state so to define a safe state you should be able to find a sequence of processes so it's defined here as a, a find a safe state is it is uh, a system is in a safe state if you can find a sequence of processes p sub 1 p sub 2 up to p sub n of all the processes in the system such that for each p of the sequence each p sub i the resources that p i can still request can be satisfied by the currently available resources meaning unallocated resources and the resources held by all the processes that are before the location of a particular process in the sequence that is if pi resource needs are not immediately available then that process can wait until uh, all p sub j have finished and when it is finished then p, uh, all the p sub j's uh, they will return the resources then pi uh, the one who is waiting the process that is waiting for the resources being held by the other processes that comes before it in the sequence that you found uh, that process can obtain the resource and then the succeeding processes in the sequence 
will be able to acquire the resources they needed because those that are those processes that are uh, in the previous position in the sequence will release the resources that they've used okay so that's what we mean by a safe state so the idea of uh, deadlock avoidance is if a, if a process requests for a resource the operating system or a module of the operating system will have to determine if allocating that resource to the process or resources to the process to a process requesting that resource will leave the the system in a safe state so uh, what are some of the basic facts about uh, deadlock avoidance and the safe state if a system is in a safe state then there are no deadlocks so when you say safe state again you are able to find a sequence of all the processes in the system that satisfies that satisfies the, the criteria here so that means there are no there's no deadlock there are no deadlocks now if a system is in unsafe state meaning you were not able to find or the kernel or the operating system was not able to find that particular sequence that defines a safe state then there is a possibility of deadlock but it is not necessarily that the system is in a deadlock state okay, so the idea of avoidance is to make sure that the system will never enter an unsafe state so this diagram here illustrates the relationship between a uh, safe state and safe state and a deadlock so if the system is an is in a safe state then you are 100 percent sure no deadlocks there but if the system is in an safe state there is a possibility or a chance of deadlock okay so uh, this defines the criteria for the uh, safe state and the way uh, deadlock avoidance works now how do you uh, what are the algorithms to perform uh, deadlock avoidance now there are two types uh, depending on the number of instances of a resource type if you have a single instance of a resource type you can use a resource allocation graph which we defined earlier uh, or if you have uh, resources with multiple instances you can use the uh, bankers algorithm okay so let's start with the first one we're in the resource types has have uh, ha, or they only have uh, one instance so in addition to that uh, elements in the resource allocation graph like the request edge the assignment assignment edge we introduce a new type of edge called the claim edge so the claim edge is uh, denoted by this so you have process i claiming for resource j so it indicates that process pj may request resource rj in the future and instead of uh, using a solid line solid line means uh, a request edge so a claim edge is represented by a dashed line so it just indicates that a process will be requesting this particular resource sometime in the future now the claim edge is converted to a request edge when the time comes that a process is now requesting for the resource okay because uh, uh, we said that in uh, deadlock avoidance there should be uh, the processes should declare what resources they will need in the future and that will be indicated 
in the resource allocation graph using the claim edge. Okay, so once the claim edge is converted to request edge, it will be converted to an assignment edge when uh, that request is granted, that request for, a, for the resource is granted. And uh, when a resource is released by a process, that assignment edge will be reconverted back to a claim edge. And as I said before, the resources must be claimed a priori in the system. So when a process comes in, it will declare, I will be needing this resource sometime, not now, but sometime in the future. So to illustrate this uh, concept, so we have here a resource allocation graph. We have two processes, P1 and P2, and two resource types, R1 and R2. So we assume here that these are single instance resource types. So process P1 uh, will be uh, using resource to sometime in the future. So you have a claim edge here. And process P2 will also be uh, using resource to sometime in the future. That's why you have the uh, dashed line here. And uh, P2 is requesting resource R1. So this is a request edge from a process to a resource. And this one is an assignment edge, meaning resource 1 is currently being used by process P1. So in analyzing the resource allocation graph, the system will have, or the kernel, or the operating system will have to determine whether uh, the system will be in an unsafe state when the request is granted. So, as mentioned, uh, this claim edge will be converted to a request edge later, and converted to an assignment edge. So, if you look at this graph, at this point, resource 2 is now being used by process P2. Now, the system will be in an unsafe state if you can find a cycle in the resource allocation graph. So, going back, we don't see a cycle here because uh, this one goes here. Oh, okay, sorry. So this one goes here, and this one uh, goes here, goes here. So there is no actual cycle. But once R2 is allocated to P2, now you can see a cycle. And this cycle indicates that the system is in an unsafe state. And as mentioned a while ago, if the system is in an unsafe is an is in an unsafe state, there is a possibility of deadlock. So this uh, request should not be granted because it will uh, place the system in an unsafe state because uh, there is a cycle here and there is a possibility of a deadlock which in our case is actually a uh, deadlock because you have a cycle here okay so the resource allocation in summary the resource allocation graph uh, algorithm okay uh, is used only for uh, resource types of a single instance and uh, a request can only be granted if uh, the claim edge or the request edge when converted to an assignment edge will not form a cycle in the resource allocation graph. Okay, so that's for the single instance uh, resource type uh, deadlock avoidance algorithm.